This is James. Hey. James is gonna show us how to do a push-up. You wanna be a muscle? <laughs> This is how not to do a push up. Show us off your first one, James. This is the dry hopper push up. Then we have probably a nose, is it the nose diver you want to show us? <laughs> Next thing I think we have is our chicken wing push up, another variation of how not to do one. <laughs> okay, relax this up for a second here. So, guys. This is one you might see a lot, or you might do it yourself. Believe me, I've seen enough variations of them. But it's not a fact that you're doing it bad. It's just the fact that you're not gonna mind your shoulders properly, and you're not gonna get any stronger or do a proper push-up in general, okay? It's all about retracting your shoulder beds kind of back and down, so you can get your shoulder girded and your lat firing, so you can have a nice solid base underneath your push-up. So when you do that, what you normally see in a regular push-up is that, Shoulders are out of position. You do this kind of weird push up, and you can even see it feels awkward already once I do that there. So, Jamie, this shows what a proper retracted back and down getting the lats firing push up should look like. So, what I'm talking about here, guys, for retracting shoulders back and down is imagine you're screwing your hands into the floor. So, when you do that right, you see James there, just go back to regular position. You show your elbows are facing out this way, and if you retract them anyway, you're going to see your elbows facing forward to really screw them in. Once you do that right, you can see your lats firing in behind your shoulder girdle, ready to go straight away. So when you go down to a push up, then you can see your elbows are going to track back the way, like scroll back up, and you're just a much more solid base under it, and you get a proper push up going. So you're not doing some sort of dry hump on the floor or some terrible push up for your shoulders. It's not a matter of thing that it's going to be detrimental to your shoulders there and then but over time it will be and you will not get any stronger within that push-up well you will it's small but not nothing like you can with it in a proper way okay if you want to do this on a bar to make it a bit easier it's no different so if we translate it over to a bar shoulder width push-up position you can use the bar as a guide for your nipple line and it's the exact same thing you're trying to snap that bar in two to get that shoulder position so, no more shitty push-ups, no more dry hump on the floor. Do it like James, do it right. Over now. Peace. <laughs>